I hope everyone's doing well today. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. Proving and demonstrating the formula which we can use to determine the sum of the first n positive integers. That's the highlight of this video. Look at this representation, sigma representation. i equals 1 up to n this. It can be represented as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way up to a certain value n. And this right here equals to this specific formula n times n plus 1 over 2. If you had like a given value and you want to determine the sum of all the positive consecutive integers up to that, this is your formula. Look at this. i equals 1 up to 10. This representation will give you a value of 55 because you would take this n value here and you'd run it through that formula. 10 times 10 plus 1 divided by 2, you will get your 55. What are you doing? You're doing basically 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the numbers up to n including 10. This here gives you 55. This is an excellent formula to remember and to know. Now I will just show you how this formula is derived. Based on this representation, there's a specific sum. If you were to expand it out, you're looking at 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus some number going up to n. You see that n? But what would have been the number right before that n? It would have been n minus 1. And the terminal number would have been n. Now, there's another way of representing the same sum. It's everything you see but in reverse. You are starting here with a specific number n. Then obviously the number in reverse order going up to 1 would be n minus 1. Then it would be n minus 2. And then it would be n minus 3 all the way. You're going up to reverse, you'll end up at this 2, then you'll end up at 1. This sum and this sum are represented, one in the forward direction, one in the reverse direction. You add these up, what are you getting? Here you're getting a 2s. You'll do a column by column addition. Here you're getting a 1 and an n. I'm looking at this, I'm getting a 1 plus n. Here I'm looking at this column right over here. 2 plus n minus 1 is again a 1 plus n. Then I'm looking at this column right over here. I'm looking here at a plus 1 plus n. In parentheses, keep that in mind. Coming all the way over here, this with this right here, you're going to again get a 1 plus n. And then finally with this and here, you're getting a 1 plus n. What are you seeing here? However many numbers we went to, in terms of our count, we have n times 1 plus n. That's what we have. We have 1 plus n, but we have n number of those 1 plus n's, which you algebraically write as that, is equal to 2s. Therefore, the sum, which is what we're looking here, the sum of consecutive positive integers up to a given value n, is equal to n times 1 plus n, or n plus 1, it doesn't matter, divided by 2, and your formula is derived, which you see right over here. A very excellent formula for determining the sum of positive consecutive integers up to a given value n. And I showed you an example at the beginning where n was equal to 10. You can do that for any number like 1000 and whatever, a million. Just run it through that formula where your n value represents the actual number you're calculating up to. And your end result will be the sum of all the positive consecutive integers up to that specific value. Have a good day. Thank you for watching.